In this video, we're going to examine the correlation coefficient, and we're going to take a peek at the coefficient of determination. So it looks like we have a pediatrician that wants to determine the relation uh, that may exist between the child's height and head circumference. And we have some data over here that, that I guess, describes uh, eight children selected randomly, uh, their data. So it says, OK. Um, which is the explanatory variable? So we're investigating, does the child's height determine the head circumference? So the explanatory variable would be the height, and the response variable would be the head circumference. Press Enter, and we got the check mark. So I'll scroll down, and I'll, I'll press uh, Continue. Next, we're asked to draw a scatter diagram. Uh, so, if we click on our little table icon and scroll down, it says, okay, our table's been copied. So I'm going to paste that into StatCrunch, this data here. I'll highlight the VAR1 column. I'll press Control-V. There's my preview. Okay, there's my data. So now, normally, to do a scatter plot, I could just press Graph and go down to scatter plot, but I actually want to see the linear regression equation. So if I press stat regression simple linear, I can have um, my R squared data and a scatter plot. Right, so I select my X variable was the height, right, that's my explanatory variable. The head circumference was my Y variable or my um, response variable. I press compute and I have all of my information here. But if I click on the arrow on the bottom, you can see I have a, a scatter plot with the regression line drawn through it. So now I can compare the scatter plot, right, just the dots, we'll ignore the line for the moment, and see which one the, um, the scatter plot best matches up with. So, so I'm thinking my choice would be either C or D. So I'm going to look at the, the labels here, right? So I remember that the height was my explanatory variable. And the response variable was the circumference. So I'm going to select C. I press Enter. I get the check mark. And it says, good job. Next question, compute the linear correlation uh, coefficient between the height and the head circumference. So that's my R value. So when I go back to StatCrunch and I click the arrow on the bottom, my R value up here was 0.826. Right, 0.826. And it says round to three decimal places. I press enter. We get the excellent job. And then it says, does a linear relation exist? Well, since my R value is close to one, I'm going to say yes, it's a positive linear correlation. And then it does ask me about the uh, positive and greater than the critical value. Um, let's take a look at the critical values. We were given that here. Click this table to see the critical values for correlation. Uh, I think we had eight children. So when I scroll down, I can care, compare my R value with the value uh, down here. Right, so 0.82 is bigger than 0.7. Uh, so I'm going to go with answer A. Oops, and let's hit enter. And we says fantastic.